calorimetry was first introduced by Anthony Lavoisier. So what is calorimetry? Basically it is a branch of physics which deals with the measurement of heat energy. Calorimeter, it is a device which is used to measure the amount of heat energy of our body. The basic structure of calorimeter is provided here. Basic structure of calorimeter, it consists of a metallic basal surrounded by wool or any other insulator. Similarly it is then covered by wooden box to prevent the flow of heat energy. So, no heat flows from surrounding to calorimeter, nor from this calorimeter to the surrounding. Thermometer is also inserted to measure the temperature of calorimeter. It also consists of a stirrer made up of same material by which the metallic vessel is made up of. The stirrer how to mix the mixture inside the calorimeter. The simple diagram for calorimeter is given here. It is based on the principle of calorimetry. It was invented by Anthony Lavoisier in 1780. We can simply say that, it is, used to measure the amount of heat involved in a chemical or physical process. Specific heat capacity, the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree Celsius is called specific heat capacity of that substance. The symbol of specific heat capacity is S and its SI unit is joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. Let Q be the amount of heat energy. S be the specific heat capacity. D theta be the change in temperature. Then we can write that Q equals to MSD theta. Thermal capacity, we have Q equals to MSD theta when D theta equals to 1 Kelvin or 1 degree Celsius then Q equals to MS. Thus, the thermal capacity is defined as the amount of heat energy required to change the temperature of the given body by 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. Water equivalent, water equivalent is defined as the mass of water which is when heated by same amount of heat energy then it gives the same change as another system does. If W be the water equivalent of a substance whose mass is mkg then, for substance, heat energy gain equals to mass of the substance times specific heat capacity of that substance times change in temperature. That is, Q1 equals MSD theta. For water heat, energy gain calls to mass of the water times the specific heat capacity at water times, change in temperature. That is, Q2 equals WSWD theta but, we have for equal amount of, heat Q1 is equal to Q2 ultimately we get mass of water equals to mass of substance times, the specific heat capacity of substance divided by the specific heat capacity of water. Principle of calorimetry, it states that, heat lost by one body is equal to the heat, gained by another body. Thank you for your time and cooperation. Presented to you, by Hustlers Talk, like, share, and subscribe.